Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exposing bspit.org, a platform that's been making waves in the crypto world for all the wrong reasons. If you're interested in cryptocurrency, digital assets, or even online trading, you're going to want to hear this because bspit is one of those sites you need to stay far away from. Let's break down why. So, what's the deal with bspit.org? It claims to help you make money by investing and trading cryptocurrencies. Sounds good, right? Not so fast. Platforms like this can be dangerous traps that use fake initial coin offerings ICOs, worthless crypto investments, and pump and dump schemes to get your money. They make big promises of high returns, but here's the truth you're more likely to lose every penny you put in. How do scam like bspit.org trick you? Let's find out. Big promises, bigger lies, they promise huge returns on your investments. And, sure, they might pay you a little at first, but don't get too excited it's just a Ponzi or pyramid scheme. And eventually, the whole thing crashes, leaving you empty-handed. Referral programs, they offer referral programs where you get paid to bring in more people. Sounds familiar. That's another sign of a pyramid scheme, withdrawing money. Good luck, they make it ridiculously hard to withdraw your money. For example, they may say you need to deposit a certain amount first before you can take any money out. What kind of legit company does that? No refunds, ever. There's no money back guarantee. And many similar platforms have blocked users' accounts in the past, preventing them from accessing their funds. Here's the deal before you even think about investing in platforms like Bspit. Make sure they're legit. Always check their regulation and licensing status on financial authority websites like the SEC or other government bodies. Okay, so what if you've already been scammed by Bspit? First off, getting your money back is almost impossible. If you think you have fallen for this scam or want to avoid such scams in the future, here's what you can do. Document everything. Take screenshots of your account, all transactions, chats, emails, everything. This will help if you decide to take legal action or report them. Legal action. If you've lost a lot, it might be worth talking to a lawyer. Sure, it could cost more, but if others are in the same boat, you could try a class action lawsuit with their help. Report them. Report the scam to authorities. This helps others avoid falling into the same trap. Change your passwords. Any payment method or account link to be spit. Change those passwords ASAP to prevent further issues, warn others, spread the word. Share this video, leave your reviews, and let your friends and family know about these scams. Awareness is key. If you think you have fallen for this scam or want to avoid such scams in the future, here's what you can do. Check their contact info. Do they provide a real physical address, phone number, and email? If not, that's a red flag. Dad grammar, dad signs. Scam websites often have spelling errors, weird grammar, or domain names that look almost but not quite like real ones. Privacy policy, no privacy policy or terms of service. Sketchy, HTTPS matters. Always check for the HTTPS in the URL for a secure connection. Read reviews, customer reviews are gold. Pay special attention to negative reviews they'll tell you what you need to know. Celebrity endorsements? Nope. Scammers love slapping celebrity faces on their ads. But trust me, real celebrities won't endorse these platforms. Too good to be true. If the returns they promise sound way to go, it's probably a scam. Fake trust seals? Look out for fake security seals from companies like McAfee or Nor. Real ones will let you click them to verify. Fake ones? Nothing happens or they take you to a random page. And safe payment methods. Scammers usually push you to pay with unsafe methods like wire transfers or gift cards. Legit sites offer credit cards and other secure payment options. They ask you to deposit more. Run. If they ask you to deposit more money before you can withdraw anything, that's a major red flag. Walk away. Too much personal info. Be wary. Scammers might ask for a lot of personal details. Be careful this could lead to identity theft. Be careful with emails and ads. Don't click on links from unknown emails or sketchy ads. That's how phishing attacks happen. 
So, to wrap things up, Beasted.org looks like just another scam in the crypto world. Based on all the issues we've talked about, we wouldn't trust them. But hey, if you've had an experience with Beastbit, good or bad, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's help others avoid these scams by spreading the word. If you want to be safe, double check everything before investing. That's the best way to protect your hard-earned money. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Together, we can make the internet a safer place. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.